Welcome back to another YouTube video. It's been a while, but I'm Crystal with Crystal Thrifts and Flips, and today we are going to be giving this vintage dresser a brand new makeover. I bought it for $30 on Facebook Marketplace, which I thought it was a little steep. I tried to offer less, but the lady was not willing to budge. I specifically picked out this piece because it was painted, and I kind of was curious to see what was underneath because you honestly never know what you're going to find underneath this paint sometimes. But I definitely overpaid. It's a pretty small piece. The drawers were very stiff and it had no knobs. But while I question my life decisions, let's get started. The first step was removing this paint job. This was definitely the most time consuming part of this whole entire flip process, but it's also the most satisfying. So you need your citrus strip, your scraper, something to spread all of the citrus strip and just take a plastic bag to cover it so it doesn't dry out too quickly. And you want to apply very liberally. If you do too thin of coats, it's just not going to work that great. So make sure you're putting on a thick enough coat. And then I've made the mistakes too many times of not covering up my citrus strip. I promise you, if you do this, it's going to work just a thousand times better. Also, always make sure to see how your citrus strip is working after about 10 to 15 minutes because sometimes that's all you need and it's already working. And then if you wait too long, it starts to dry out and then it just doesn't work and it's a whole process. So I covered it all up and we're just gonna wait about 15 minutes. But your girl is forgetful and I forgot to set a timer and look at that. I let it dry out. Luckily for me, it still was coming off pretty easily, but we definitely were gonna need one or two more rounds of citrus strip. If you're using a metal scraper like me, definitely make sure to be careful and take your time because it is easy to slip and you can leave really big indents in your wood. So if you want to, you can use a plastic scraper instead. So I'm gonna do a second round of citrus strip and I'm just going to repeat the whole entire process. I honestly think I bought this piece just to torture myself because I completely forgot how hard it was to remove paint from a piece completely. But honestly, these are the most satisfying videos for me to watch is when you take something that has such a drastic before and after. So I really hope you guys like the end result of this piece. Lately, I've been wanting to be more mindful with my flips. So instead of just picking any old piece of furniture to flip, I really want to choose pieces that are actually in need of a makeover. So that's one of the reasons why I chose this piece. So sit back and enjoy while I try to remove as much paint as I can. So this was the piece after around two rounds of citrus strips. So I'm taking the mineral spirits and spreading it all over the piece just to get that extra residue, the stickiness off. And then I'm going to try to sand off the rest of the paint. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I did this piece many, many months ago. So this was probably like November of last year. And unfortunately there was a tropical storm and I have a leaky shed. So the veneer unfortunately did not make it on the top. This was actually my first time removing veneer from a piece and lucky enough for me, it came off very easily. So I was very happy about that. So now we are moving on to the drawers. I think this piece is a great example of why furniture flippers have a bad name. Like they say we just slap paint on a piece. Yes, this looks like that happened, but not all furniture flippers are like that. So instead of stripping these drawers, I'm starting off with 80 grit sandpaper to see how easily this paint is gonna come off with just sanding. 
It was definitely easier to get this paint off with stripping, but this was a completely different day and I didn't feel like getting out all those tools and I already had my sander out and all the sandpaper, so I just took my time and sanded down all the drawers. And unfortunately I was left with these ring marks from the old hardware on this piece and it did not come with the old hardware, so I was going to try to get those stains off. But first it was time to remove this very old Grand Macor drawer liner and boy was it stuck on there. I should have watched some videos on how to remove old drawer liners. Some said a heat gun, some said to soak it before, but I just started going and I pulled it all off. But in hindsight, I should have done my research. Now it was time to sand down the body of this piece. I wanted to sand down to see what part of this piece we were gonna be able to save and keep natural wood. My original plan for this piece was to keep it entirely natural wood, but that ended up not being possible. So after moving on from sanding, it was time to clean the inside of the doors and they were very, very dirty. When they painted these drawers, they let all the paint drip to the back side, so I was having to scrape all that off. Now it was time to move on to these drawers. They were so gorgeous, they were so pretty, and I tried everything to get out these stains. So I let a solution sit on the drawers to try to get rid of those stains, and then I got back to sanding the body. And I want to apologize because I was not able to get these stains out of the drawers, so I did end up having to paint them. So here I am filling in the old hardware holes. After I filled the hardware holes, I went around on the drawers and just filled up some other imperfections. And then I went with a 240 grit sandpaper and sanded that down. After all that, the drawers were ready to start priming. This is my absolute favorite primer to use. I almost use it on every single one of my flips and I love to apply it with a foam roller if I can. The combination of a foam roller and sanding in between each coat, I swear it always has such a nice finish. So just make sure you're always sanding in between each coat. After your first coat of primer dries, you usually can tell where you need to spot check and add some more wood filler to your pieces. After I was finished priming the drawers, I moved on to the body of the piece. At this point, I had already sanded down everything that I wanted to keep natural wood, so I'm just going and giving it one last cleaning before getting ready to prime it. And I like to use a toothbrush, especially with pieces like this that have these curved edges, so I can really give it a deep cleaning. So now is the best part, and that is choosing a paint color. 
I am going to do a custom color with this piece just because I had some paint left and I thought if I mix these two colors together it would make a really cute coastal green which is really really popular in my area because I live close to the beach and people love to style their house in the coastal beach style around here. So just like the primer I'm applying as much of the paint as I can with this foam roller with the help of my cat Poco. Next, we're just gonna repeat all those steps that I did on the drawers on the base of the dresser. I actually paint professionally for a living. Furniture flipping is something I do on the side. So I always think that I can freehand a piece, but I usually end up regretting that decision. After removing all the tape, I just go in and spot sand every place that I had got paint on. Finally, we're gonna seal the piece to protect it with three coats of a water-based poly. For the sides of the drawer, instead of using the water-based poly, I'm going in with a furniture wax. This also smells so amazing, so I put this on the inside of the drawers as well. I didn't really like how the sides of the drawers turned out even after the furniture wax, so you'll see later that I added some paint to the sides of the drawers. And I also added drawer liners to the inside of these drawers as well. I just despise adding drawer liners so much, but honestly, all the flips where I do add the drawer liner, I just think it looks a thousand times better. So it looks amazing, but the process of doing it, I just can't stand. And the new hardware got delivered. I was so excited. I thought these looked just so adorable, so cute. They just complimented the piece so much and brought so much character. So this clip right here is where you can see I added some paint to the side of the drawers just to make it look a little better. And finally, after all of that, here is the end result. I'm so happy I was able to give this cute little dresser right here a makeover. Like always, let me know what you guys think about this new makeover. And make sure you like, subscribe, and follow all my social media accounts so you can be up to date on all of my furniture flipping content.